Hey, I'm Nick Athlon Gamer. Welcome back to FM22 Journeyman. We're on episode 25, and it's the AFC Cup Final. <clears throat> <clears throat> Our opponent is Paxtacor of Uzbekistan. They are the favorites. Semi comfortably, but definitely not in blowout style. We do have a legitimate chance, especially considering one key detail is out of all of those major tournaments, you would expect a neutral territory to be the location. It's not. We're playing at home. We are playing at home for this one, and that is giving us maybe enough of an edge to make this thing legitimately 50-50. So I'm hopeful. I'm optimistic that we could do something. 20 minutes in already, each team with one shot so far. We do have a couple of challenges that we are facing. First off, it is Jack Brown, who is absent. Of course, he signed on after the second registration window that we had for the Cup, so we are without him. Though, obviously, we did, during that second registration window, get our two top defenders in Kabula and Quinonez. Uh, we were able to get them in on that one, as that one is headed away. We don't even beat the first man. Really poor corner kick there. Shots are now 2-3. to three. XG is still really similar. This thing is pretty balanced right now. Uh, the second key thing, uh, obstacle, that's holding us up as we give that one away with a fairly poor pass. And it's going to create a chance here for Matic. But nice clearance from Kabula. And we do establish possession the other way. And then Sinji gives it away again uh Walladain still injured Walladain was out for seven to eight weeks and he is still out from that he is right at the end of that window where he is nearly back from the injury but he was not cleared to play for even a few minutes today so Rizki Palu uh who is probably gonna be that was offside maybe maybe not it's out for a goal kick no call. Guess it doesn't matter. Uh, Kono over the top. Febrianto, who's on a yellow card inside of Yudis. Oh, he turns the wrong way, but we do get a cross in. Sagang gets the header. It's on target, but there's just not much power on that one. And we approach halftime with a goalless draw. XG-wise, they've definitely pulled away from us a bit. Where the shots were close, they've definitely pulled away from us a bit. 9-3 to three at the moment. And tripling up on the XG as well. 9-2 fouls with us accumulating the majority of them. Uh, that last 25 minutes, they really uh, established firm control of the match, where it was pretty close for the first 20. Second half begins. Just the one yellow card to Febrianto. Akono, very, very tired. He had a minor injury that he's bouncing back from. Uh, also, one more challenge that we are facing at the moment is that we have had two matches every week for well over a month, and it has caused some fatigue. Great shot there from Reshidov. I thought we closed that off well enough, but he gets enough bend to that to not only get it around the defense, but to get it around Setho as well. Matic goes up. It was two on one, and we still couldn't win that header. And that thing just inside the post. Fantastic shot. And now we trail. That was the first shot of the second half. Hopefully, we can bounce back from that. Here's our highlight. No, we're going to lay it off poorly. Give it away in a dangerous position. Ooh, Setho off the line. Dang, he was well inside the goal, reaching out over the line to keep that one away as he's trying to react to it and give himself as much time as possible. The reaction was there. It was good. Pelu! Oh, wow. He could have been the hero. He's on a 6.0, struggling like crazy. It's been an hour now, and we're going to have to go attacking from here. Pelu inside to Zilfiani. i got to start thinking about subs as well. Fabrianto is an obvious candidate, longtime yellow card holder. And with all the fouls we had in the first half, you would you would think we're going to be in danger of committing some more as this game goes on. Pelu, oh, 
It's a good cross. Nobody, nobody getting onto the end. We set up Sinji. Great position. Terrible shot. Horrible shot. He needs to do better on a situation like that. Just on the edge of the box. He wasn't even... I think he was trying to kick it to uh, some other game in some other stadium in some other city far, far away. 72 minutes gone. <sighs> yeah, we're running out of time. Palu is struggling like crazy. We need better. Guino couldn't do any worse. Uh, Sugang is pretty dang tired. Let's go ahead and bring on Saimima, and we'll save our final sub for the last 10 minutes. Go ahead and demand more. Come on, guys. Kono. Sofiani. Guino. Guino with the cross. Much better than what we were getting out of Palu. The header, just a little bit too high. Looked like maybe three to four inches it did hit the top net. Okay, uh, we are now really, really running out of time, so we're going to have to get crazy aggressive. Push up as high as we can. Let's go ahead and get stuck in. Eighty-eight minutes already played. What else can I do? I have one substitution remaining. Uh, let's bring these guys higher up the pitch. Let's bring one of them higher up the pitch. And substitution, substitution. One remains. Do I have any attacking players? I have a Goong or Oharella who has not scored in the last 19 matches played. He hasn't scored once all season. A Goong is probably our best option there. And boy, Febrianto is not looking good. Playing out there on the left right now. Uh, who did we push up? Saimima? Let's swap that with Sinji, maybe. All right. Off the free kick, Fabrianto intercepts, tries to play the ball ahead of Eunice. In these type of situations, that's a good choice when you're desperate. Oh, oh we had a chance on that through ball. Did not take it. Guino cross is blocked. Out for the corner kick. Running out of time here. Agum now onto the pitch. 10 shots. They've only had, what, one, two shots this entire half. Oh, that was tipped over. Okay. I kind of lost track of where that ball was. Setho makes two nice saves in a row, but we are down to one minute to send this thing to extra time. Saimima, Zulfiandi, uh, going backwards with the defense. Kabula, too long. That might just about do this. We're going to get maybe one more chance. Ooh, Maddich nearly gets on the end of that defense. We create something February. Ooh. Boy, I thought we were held the way we suddenly stopped momentum. Uh, and that through ball, nothing. Out of time. It's a loss. So close. So, so close. We were really competitive for all but that 20 minutes, 25 minutes of the first half. Beyond that, looks like we controlled the second half just about. First 20 minutes was certainly level. I feel like we deserved a goal. They weren't the dominant team in any way. Just that one stretch. And they weren't dominant. They were just better. And we were better the entire second half than they were. But it was not to be. It was not to be. Uh, here's my hope, though. Here's my hope. We've gone through this entire tournament with literally nothing. No positive outcomes whatsoever towards me as manager. Let's hope that now that the tournament is done, it'll recognize that we played in the final and that I will see an increase to my reputation, to my skill set, something, anything. Hopefully the reputation, of course, because we've been looking a long, long time for a new job. And now that we don't get an automatic bid to the Champions League for next season, there's less and less of a reason to be here with this team, to stick around. We fought back well, but we only got two shots on target. That, I think, is the ultimate reason why we lost. We deserved a goal, but it requires getting the ball on target to get that ball in the back of the net. So 
as much as we deserved, as much as we earned the opportunity. You don't do this, you're not going to score. And we didn't. A win obviously would have paid even more, but three quarters of a million? That's pretty good for a team that is struggling financially, that decreases their income or their balance pretty quickly. That's going to take care of things for a good time coming and should make it a little easier on me to maybe get something. And taking a look at the next day, it has happened. The reputation has gone from 20% to 25%. Making it to the cup final has done it. You can see my reputation now has gone from one star to one and a half. Okay. Okay, we're making, we're making progress. And does that mean we're finally going to get a job? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. It's certainly a step in the right direction. It's something we obviously needed at 20%. All of the nations that we've been applying to, none of them, none of them have been interested. I mean, we haven't even had a, a sniff at anything other than that some teams were like, oh yeah, I could see how you would fit our, our job. But that's that's been it. Like, they've all been, no. Most of them have just been flat, no. <laughs> uh, I've also increased my people management by plus one. Uh, I think... Youngster knowledge and player knowledge both went plus one here as well, so we are seeing some some perks to that. I think my attacking went plus one. Uh, somewhere between the tactical and technical, I think one of those was a five, so yeah. I, I don't know if that all just came about from the end of that AFC Cup run. It looks like it might have. Uh, maybe the determination went from a six to a seven. That's certainly good because that's getting your way with the board a little bit more or was that always seven no i think it was the player knowledge going up anyway there is some progress in there and that's good that is very good uh look at a little bit better of a manager reputation's a little bit higher maybe it's time that we're able to go find a position especially especially now that uh, we didn't get that champions league qualification so close so so close but I always knew once you get out of our region, once we get out of that lower Southeast Asia region, the competition was going to get harder. It was going to get tougher. There was going to be better teams that we were going up against. And that was the case. Really took till the final till we saw that, uh, fortunately. And, you know, if we get another chance, that's great. But in terms of currently, we're fifth on 43 points. Six points with a game in hand off Bali United. It's far from over, but it hasn't been a great season. However, we've been distracted by a ton of AFC Cup games. We've played quite a few games, and it's been hard on this team. We don't have the depth to really compete in multiple competitions like that, and we've suffered in the league as a result. It's still 14 wins, one draw, seven losses, but that seven losses definitely hurts. I mean, below us, Persida only has five losses. Job market at the moment, we have eight applications out there. However, five of those are to Major League Soccer. And I just don't think our one and a half star reputation is going to be enough to get any of those positions. If we had lower division, uh, USL, I think our chances would be a hell of a lot better trying to get something along those lines and building a reputation to then eventually jump up into Major League Soccer. Uh, but expansion league for Mexico, that seems a little more manageable. Problem there being that team's currently sitting second place in the league. Not sure why they would have an opening unless whoever was leading the club got taken away by somebody else. I mean, see, I'm not the leading candidate anywhere <laughs> and haven't been. Uh, it just hasn't happened thus far. But, you know, maybe we can get one of those oddballs, lower division, you know, China, Korea, or like Chile. That, that would be something. My reputation's a little higher. I like my chances a little bit better, but I'm still not uh, holding out too much hope just yet. Well, that's cool. Ronnie Sugang has won the AFC Cup Most Valuable Player Award. 
in 14 appearances, which he didn't play in every game, so that, that goes to show how many extra games we've played. We've nearly doubled the number of games. Not quite, but just about doubled the number of games we've played this season. Seven goals, eight assists for Sugeng, and a 7.98 rating. Just fantastic performance from Sugeng. Wow, make that two awards. Faisal Yunus gets the award as the top goal scorer. 12 goals in 15 appearances for him. Four assists as well, 7.66 rating. Uh, Kono was second on the list with 11 goals, just one less than Yunus. Seven assists to go with it, of course, in that more uh, holding role on top. He is more creative than Yunus, though those two linking together clearly led to a lot of goals. 23 between them, 11 assists between them. Wow. I mean, fantastic, fantastic pairing, especially against the weaker opposition. They really, really went out there and dominated. Matic from uh, Paxtacor, the opponent in the final, not the one who scored the goal, though. He had nine in the tournament, but just one assist for him. Club finances are looking so much better after that run to the final, all the way to the final. We're up to 778000 following about 60000 in payout to the players. We got another 20000 in income. I'm not sure where that one came from with the 750. So we brought in 770, spent 60, so that increased by 710. Plus, I don't know if we had any additional income on the uh, ticket sales, as it was a home match. I'm assuming we had some sort of split to uh, to the finances coming from that. But yeah, wow, we're looking so much better. 778,000, that's gonna last. It's going to last a good long while. I mean, right now, we now have, uh, after all that, we still only have a slightly positive balance for the year, 123000 profit so far this year. Last year, of course, was $2 million, but that was because of the, the buyout, the takeover of the, of the squad, $2.84 million that one month. So, yeah, that was nearly $3 million dollars. Uh, change in the balance of the club upon purchase of the team but you can also see that we're losing a good 700,000 a year we now have just north of that in the bank so you can see this team getting right back down to about zero balance a year from now so late next season will I be around late next season I sure hope not (laughs) And this is what's left for the season. So over the last, what, handful plus six league matches, five wins, one loss during that stretch, much better than what we had before. We Overall season, it's kind of two wins to one loss. Five wins to one loss over the last six is definitely better. But of course, that, you know, one, one match different, and that's 4-2, which would be the same ratio. So it's not like it's crazy different but it's definitely different let's hope that trend continues and especially uh, if we can you know ease off a little bit as we've played so many so many in a row Uh, you can see that trend's going to continue i mean we've already played five matches in october we still have three more we have eight matches through the month of october you can see september was just as busy seven matches in the month of september November? Yeah, that looks pretty busy too, but it's down to six. It's down to six, so it will ease off. You can see we have, for the first time, two weeks from now, for the first time, we'll have a week apart between a couple of matches there, and then we'll have another 11 days till the following match, giving us a little breather. Three matches in six days, four matches in nine days at the end of the month, but we will have the breather prior to that. From there, only three more matches to wrap up the season, and those ones are definitely a little bit further spread out. A Sunday, a week and a half later, Wednesday, and then a Sunday again to wrap up the season. I think now that the Asian Cup is behind us, I think the squad can push on and improve our position. But how much? 
by how much will they improve. The Nations Cup, we're, we're out. We've long since been out of that, so we're not going to get an Asian run out of that. We've got to get it into the top three to have another shot at the Asian Cup at least. We'd have to win the league to, to get to the Champions League. I think it's the second two spots. Well, no, no, no. Second spot has, depending on what happens with the Nations run, because they steal a spot away. We're looking at probably Asian Cup again, if we can crack top three anyway. And that would certainly be good, because we, we see how much it's paid off, right? Even if we don't win, it's there's a lot of money in it, and it really, really helps with the club finances. Uh, but again, I, I don't want to be here next year, but let's see what we can do with the remainder of this season. That is going to do it for this episode, though. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.